All right, guys, what's up? We are back on Clash of Clans. So it's been a while. It's been like over a week. I've been, I've just been very lazy, guys. I've just been incredibly lazy these days, even on the base itself. Like I already have the Princess Builder ready and everything. It's kind of crazy. So while I clear out these bushes, I'll talk about some of the things from last video and I guess what's going on in this video. So first of all, well, let's just get this shit out of the way. I lost my ranking because of the stupid uh, trophy reset and because I haven't been attacking. So there we go. I don't know. I'm no longer in Legends just because of that. So Pet House, I'm almost done maxing out the Spirit Fox. I really want to get this over with because uh, I still have a lot of stuff to max out like the the Owl and the uh, Pekka Pet. So I got those things to max out. So let's get rid of the Spirit Fox, dude. I got I got to finish this off. So use the Book of Heroes. Let's get another Book of Heroes from here. And I still have 77,000 Dark Collect, so I need to farm more. So I can get this uh, this whole operation going, you know? Let's get that gem box out of the way. Yeah, my base is like trashed right now. I also like have no use for Elixir anymore. Like absolutely no use for Elixir. So it's just gonna go into walls. My bomb is clearing up in 48 minutes as well. That's pretty cool. So a lot of stuff going on in this base, dude. A lot of stuff going on. So let's clear up all our elixir real quick. Um, almost completely maxed. Uh, walls don't really matter these days, so I don't consider that. Like, I guess technically you're not maxed if you're, you don't complete all your walls, but really, guys, I mean, walls serve no purpose in this game. They're so obsolete now. Um, what? Oh, I'm just getting a lot of social requests. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, let's clear this out. I got 18 million gold, so I can do two bombs. I'm going to need a third bomb soon. But actually, that's going to be my last bomb for the rest of this game. Until Town Hall 17 comes, or another update comes. Uh, these guys are requesting for stuff. I don't have anything to give them. I still need to leave this clan. You know, ever since I made this like Clash of Clans journey, I've been complaining about this clan. Look, they don't even have a war going on. So I'm like... I'm losing progress because these guys are so stupid and they're so lazy and they don't want to do their fucking job and start wars and shit. I mean, I should be co-leader, dude. I'm like one of the strongest people here, like honestly. I've been rambling on all over like, what, two minutes, three minutes already? Uh, you guys, you guys have been like bashing me about my fucking royal champion kit. So, you guys gotta understand, I'm a person who thinks ahead. I, when I do things, I think of these things way far ahead. So, yes. Okay, of course. I know, guys. The fucking... This combo is not the best. The Royal Gem and the Haste Spell, the Haste Vial are not the best combo. You, if we want to be a meta Royal Champion right now, you gotta go Hog Puppet and Haste Vial. I know, guys. I know. But, there's new equipment coming out. For like almost all the heroes, so why the fuck am I gonna waste materials on upgrading a, a fucking hog puppet when it's gonna be useless when the new equipment comes out? So I'm thinking the haste vial is gonna go best with the new equipment. I'm not 100% sure, but I already maxed it out. It was the most useful thing, so I like why not use it? You know. So that's my thought process. And another thing. Another reason why I really haven't replaced the Royal Gem is because look at the DPS. It's a hundred DPS increase and over here 88. So that's a double DPS increase for both equipment. And I noticed ever since this whole rework with the Royal Champion and all the heroes, I guess, the DPS has dropped for Royal Champion significantly. Like she deals like no damage, dude. It's actually kind of ridiculous. So yeah, that's why I have those damage boosters on. And the Hog Puppet does not give a damage boost, I don't believe. Uh, no. Just health recovery. Yeah, so. It is still better. I'm not- I never made an argument that it's not better. So, some guy literally, he's judging my arguments off of my kits, but without even, like, getting the context here. Guys, these shits are temporary. These- these- these equipments are temporary, because they're gonna be replaced by epic equ equipments or other equipments later on in the game. So, I'm not going to be investing in all these fucking things, maxing them out, when they're going to be replaced. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'd rather be maxing out something like the Giant Arrow, where its value is going to be, like, perpetual. Because, like, if I want to just farm stuff, just tap the button, and it just it shoots an arrow, you know? So, that's why, that's why I'd rather not max out other shit that's going to be obsolete. But for sure, like, over here, I maxed out the Giant's Gauntlet and the Rage Vial. Those things are going to be very powerful until they get nerfed. So I, for sure, I, I don't see myself replacing those. Over here, I kind of messed up with a spiky ball. I should have not have upgraded that. I thought it was going to be stronger than it was, but it's really trash, really. Uh, you can only use it 
I guess, for certain army compositions. But overall, Giant Gauntlet and Rage Viler are the best here. And um, yeah, guys, I don't have nothing else to say. I mean, you're going to base my arguments off of my, my kit selection. I mean, that's really bad because I'm obviously, I know the fucking Hog Rider puppet, it's better, but there's no point in upgrading it. Like, at least ask, why are you using the Hog Rider puppet? Or why are you using the, the, the what is it, the healing gem instead of the Hog Rider puppet? At least ask, don't make assumptions. Like, goddamn, guys. Anyway, let's get back into this fucking thing here. Um, I gotta, I gotta, I'm just clearing out my bushes while I talk, really. Uh, I haven't been doing attacks. I need to get back into this shit. How much ore do I have? I got 47,000, 4,600. Okay, so I'm gonna have to empty out soon. Let me actually do that. So, like I was saying, like, Healer Puppet's pretty good, too. Um, I don't know. Should I upgrade Healer Puppet? Just max it out? Yeah, fuck it. Just max that thing out. Let's get rid of all this stuff. There's no equipments coming out, like, anytime soon. Uh, at least, I don't know. Maybe this month, maybe? Um, but for, for right now, I just gotta clean this shit out. Let's get this, uh, free stuff here. Uh, I need to make it my glowy ore and my starry ore. There we go. And nothing else really matters here. Okay, cool. So, I'll just let myself replenish those resources over time. And for now, I think we're done cleaning the base. Let me upgrade these, uh, bombs now. There we go. Uh, and then upgrade this one. Also, let's collect all our resources that we have accumulated from the season challenges. And yeah, let's a lot of resources. Too bad that elixir is not going to be useful at all. The elixir is useless for me now. Uh, I don't need power potions uh, or the hero potions at all because it's already maxed. Or the super potions are useless. Man, super troops, they've been neglected for a while. Like, have not received a new one or any balance changes to them. Just trashing everything here. I'm gonna do two attacks and. Yeah, so let's let's uh, let's see what I get. So I got it. I'm in stupid fucking Titans League, so I gotta just hit whatever I can find that has good loot. I can, it's not like Legends where I could just press a button and I get I get a good base. Like now I'm stuck in the clouds. Now I'm stuck waiting, and I gotta just keep skipping. Like look, useless base right here, useless base, and look another useless base. Oh, I need to uh, get my clan game rewards before before I do this. Uh, God, there's so much stuff you see. All right, so. For clan game rewards, what I'm going to do uh, is here's the thing, guys. I don't need any more resources, really. Um, I, I The research potions are negligible. I don't really need those. I, I could replenish those whenever I want, so I'm not going to get those. Dark Elixir I don't really need, even though I, I have room. I need to upgrade the Spirit Fox, but uh, I'll replenish that in like a day. Over here, the... I, I don't need a gold rune. The gold rune is really useful for, like, if you have big upgrades. But, guys, I only have one bomb left. I have nothing else to do. Uh, what are these guys doing? I don't have a flame finger. I'm sorry. Um, over here, the super potion that we need. Dark elixir. Rings. You know, none of this stuff is useful. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just collect gems. I'm going to collect gems. And what I'm trying to do, well, as you saw, I already got that builder book. So I'm trying to replenish all my things so I can be ready for Town Hall 17. Because I'm still kind of low on my shit, you know? So I'm going to try to replenish some. But if it's not necessary, it's not necessary. So like that gold earner is not necessary. So I just took the gems. So yeah, let's get back into this. That's my logic with this. I'm, I need to think ahead, guys. I can't just be upgrading two walls with the gold earner and that's it. Like that's not really smart. So that's why I'm thinking here. And uh, just to come back on my Ice Arrow video, so a lot of you guys kicked back on my video on Ice Arrow. And it's like, you guys gotta understand, you're paying a lot of fucking resources for very minimal upgrades. Like, you're getting, what, a 5% slowdown boost, and then, like, a little DPS. Like, guys, those are, like, super, super small upgrades. And, like, my best comparison is the Giant Gauntlet. You pay it for an upgrade, but you get like three or four fucking buffs. You get healing, uh, you get uh, damage reduction, which is the biggest one. The radius stays the same, and then you get damage increase. Like, you get like three buffs, dude. Three buffs from upgrading that. And then the, the frost arrow, you only get like a little bit of DPS, which is kind of artificial, like honestly. Um, you can get that from like uh, the other things, like the, what is it, the puppet and um, the giant arrow. Which are bad, I know are bad uh, equipments, but I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna upgrade the Ice Arrow just for DPS, like, that's, you know, that's kind of dumb. And then the 5% the slowdown for each and every every single upgrade is, like, you know, it does it's, it's not really significant, honestly. And people are saying you can use it for, like, what is it, Queen Charge and shit? But, like, 
I don't know, guys. Like, clean charge. Like, when hog riders, or not hog riders, or these root riders, and th these things are so relevant, uh, is that really, like, I don't know. Like, I, I understand if, if clean charge is, like, super meta, and everything is, like, revolving around clean charges, but, like, I'm still dominating with these root riders. Like, they have not really fixed this problem, so until then, if, if queen charges are the only single meta in this game, the ice arrow is not really that good of an equipment. And it's like, for equipment to be really good, you guys are praising this thing like it's the best thing since sliced bread. Guys, it's not. The best thing since sliced bread is a fucking giant's gauntlet. That thing is incredible. It has like no drawbacks at all. And the ice arrow is like really niche, bro. And you can only use it for certain things. Like right here, it's barely helping my army because like everything is killing the root riders and the Valkyries are killing everything. And Ice Arrow like barely gets to interact with anything. So it's like I'm barely getting help. You see my queen already died, by the way. She already died. If this equipment is truly OP, she would have been alive. She would have been kept alive from the Ice Arrow, but that's not the case. That's not the case at all. So as you see, that Haste Vial is shredding everything. And plus with that uh, healing gem, it's it's uh, helping the D DPS a little bit. So that's why I'm using this. It's a temporary solution. I know it's not the best, but Ice Arrow, guys. I still stick with all my arguments about the Ice Arrow. Some guy told me to delete the video. That video is not going anywhere, dude. You guys are all going to replace Ice Arrow when a new one comes out. And some people even said that, hey, I'm only using this, this Ice Arrow because it's the only good equipment. Or not even good. It's the only decent equipment that the Queen has. Because let's be honest. All the Queen's equipments are trash. It's all trash. And it's like you, you have like no options. I mean, yeah, the Barbarian King has more options. And then the, even the freaking... Uh, what what is it? The warden. Every 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 hero has more options than the the freaking royal champion. Or no, the, the the archer queen. I'm too busy trying to fucking scout these bases, and I'm saying shit that doesn't make sense. But yeah, the archer queen has like the least options, guys. I mean, you only got what the frost arrow. Uh, the the ar obviously the archer puppet is trash, but if you really need extra DPS, you can use it for that. Um, yeah, the ice arrow. Uh, I guess the healer puppet. The invis invisibility vial is like uh, really useful, but with the new equipment, um, it's not going to be useful anymore. You see power, power, the definition of power creep right there. And that's that's what's happening here with this game. With these new equipments uh, really hate having to like manually uh, scout these bases out. But yeah, a lot of people, a lot of you guys push back on that. But it's like uh, maybe you guys like living in the moment. So maybe you guys like spending all your ores and maxing out the current best equipment. I, I know that starry ore and even glowy ore to a certain extent is not really easy to, to replenish. So that's why I save my stuff and I don't just go spending all willingly on shit that's going to be nerfed or shit that... Well, are these things going to be nerfed? Probably. Probably Giant's Gauntlet. Eventually, maybe. That'll, I'll be fucking pissed. But when they're going to be obsolete. Because most of the stuff is going to be obsolete. Like, really, really soon. So that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid about, and I just uh, I just don't upgrade my shit because of that. And I, I just stay with the stuff that I have, and uh, whatever level I can get my my ice arrow or whatever, I'll get it to where, where it's not really that detrimental. So yeah, I, what what level is it? Uh, it's like level 20. So I'm not gonna upgrade this shit. 100 fucking starry ore. Okay, here's my here's what I'm trying to get out, guys. A hundred starry ore, a <laughs> hundred starry ore for five percent slowdown, and not I don't even get a duration boost, which does nothing by the way, and four DPS. Like you gotta be insane, you gotta be insane for that, man. The five percent slowdown is the only single target, by the way, and most of the time she is attacking like random buildings. So, while well, she's attacking one thing that's slowing it down, it's gonna die in like what? Three shots, four shots, because she deals so much DPS. So it's like, what, a f what, like, value do you get? Like maybe for queen walks, yeah, you get a lot of value from that. Queen charges and queen walks, whatever the fuck they are, same thing. Uh, you get a lot of value, but like in general armies, like this one that I'm using, it's not really gonna help you a lot. So then again, it's a niche item. It's very, it's a very niche item that you're not gonna get value out of all the time. It's just, it's almost as bad as uh the what is it the fireball and um there's another one uh forgot what it is but the fireball is my, my best comparison it's like it's almost as niche as that the only reason it's used so widely is because like i said earlier 
it's like one of the the best decent equipments for queen right now but once new equipments come out that's going to be obsolete right away and that's why i want to save my starry ore because guys you can store up to like 10 oh no 1000 starry ore so like you can store a lot of that shit. so i'd rather save that for a very good equipment and we're going to attack this base because this base has 10,000 dark elixir and i really need dark elixir right now so let's go ahead and attack over here i'm going to put a valkyrie um yeah so there are a lot of comments honestly I, I didn't get to read them all i'll probably read them uh next time or now nah, i'll probably move on to something else but you guys gotta understand where i'm coming from it's like i'm just thinking ahead here for now yeah yes yes the frost arrow yes guys it is the best equipment right right now because there's no competition it's like trump and biden they're the best candidates because there's like no other good candidates on right now it's like guys that, that, it's, you're just getting whatever is available it's not actually because it's the best and that's that's my main argument and then upgrading the shit, like I said, like three times already, it's not worth it. You get so, so little upgrades. So that's my main point. I'm sorry you guys didn't really understand it, but that's just how it is. And if you're gonna upgrade the fucking ice arrow to max, I mean, you're just wasting a bunch of resources, dude. You fucked up entirely. Cause that thing is gonna be useless in a few, uh, maybe even a few months. So bad decision making, try thinking ahead. Cause this game, you never know what's gonna happen. Things get nerfed, things get, get buffed. I, but that's all I gotta say, guys. Gotta get that shit off my chest, cause it's like a lot of stuff you guys are saying, but like, I think you guys are missing my main point, which is not worth upgrading this shit. You guys should, should, should think ahead. I mean, I'm just trying to get, trying to think in everyone's best interest. I mean, wasting your 100 Starry War on such shitty equipment is not smart, but hey, you guys do you. I'm sticking with my argument, and it's gonna age like wine, I guarantee you. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna sign out. I'll see you next time in my next Clash of Clans video.